So in order to lose weight on keto, do you actually have to track your ketones? And what's more important, your ketone levels or your glucose levels? Well, I have some thoughts on it, so let's talk about it. Hi friends, and welcome to Keto with Libby. I am Libby, and I am on a journey to health using the ketogenic lifestyle. And over the last 15 months, I have lost about 40 pounds and learned so much more about myself on that journey. So if that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. I would love to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor for this video. It is Best Ketone Test. We will talk about them a little bit later, but first, let's get into it. First, I want to talk about ketone levels. There are a few ways that you can measure these. You can do a urine test strip, you can do a breath test, and also a blood ketone level test. Now, some of these are more reliable than others. The urine test strips are reliable up into a point. The breath ones are also reliable up into a point, and the most reliable are going to be your blood ketone tests. Now, if you have done any research on ketone levels and keto, you have probably seen the optimal range for weight loss with your ketone levels, and it's actually coming to be that this optimal range for weight loss isn't necessarily a thing. So nutritional ketosis starts at 0.5, Five, and then anything from 1.5 to 3 was thought as the optimal range for ketosis for weight loss. Now, there has been recent research coming out that has shown that that might not necessarily be the case and that you can have weight loss at those lower numbers of nutritional ketosis at 0.5 and up. So when people are trying to get higher ketone levels and push into the 1.0 for more weight loss, it's not necessarily the most effective thing that you can be doing to measure your health and how well you're going to achieve your weight loss goals. So how I personally measure my ketones is when I very first started keto, I used the urine test strips. That first week, those are pretty reliable, but then after that, once you stop peeing out your ketones and you're actually using them for energy, they're pretty unreliable. I've never personally used the breath test one, so I really can't speak to that, but what I use now and is most accurate are the blood tests. And I only do these probably twice a month because I hate poking myself. I hate it so much but I do wanna spot check myself and make sure that I am in ketosis and I am eating foods that are keeping me in ketosis, especially if you are doing, doing dirty keto, you really want to make sure that you are staying in ketosis because some of those foods aren't amazing and if you're wondering about dirty keto versus clean keto, check out the video I just posted. <laughs> so do whatever works best for yourself and your lifestyle and your goals. For me, for my health goals to prevent type 2 diabetes and lose weight, spot checking twice a month works just fine for me. Let's talk about measuring your blood glucose levels since I just spoke about overall health, weight loss, and preventing type 2 diabetes. So this is something I wish that I would have done in the beginning of my journey because I have spoke to you guys about how type 2 diabetes runs in my family as well as other health issues and I bet that I was pre-diabetic when I started this journey and having a stable blood sugar is such a good indicator of your health overall. If you have too high of blood sugar and if you have too low of blood sugar for long periods of time, there can be diseases and things that are associated with that. So I think that measuring your blood glucose levels is so, so, so important to have a full overview of your overall health. As I said before, I hate poking myself, I don't want to do it, so I check my blood sugar randomly every single week just, again, to spot check myself. There have been times where I kind of check how it trends throughout the day, but I don't do that very often because I'm just, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan. <laughs> So before we move on to do you need to measure ketones for weight loss, what's more important, ketones or glucose, I have a product that I want to share with you guys that kind of makes this a little bit easier, and that is the best ketone test. This is a dual meter, and you can test your ketones and your blood glucose levels all with this one meter. So the best ketone test is a high quality dual meter that can give you a fuller understanding of your overall health because you're able to measure both your ketones 
and your glucose. You don't have to have two monitors and you don't have to fumble with all the things. You have one nice little pouch that everything is in. It was so simple to set up and so easy to use. I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to monitor both ketones and glucose levels. So for the starter kit, it is $49.99 and I will have a link in the description down below and it comes with 10 of each test strip and then includes everything that you need to get started testing today. So thank you again so much to Best Ketone Test for sponsoring this video. Now, let's answer the question of the day. <laughs> so to answer the question, do I need to track my ketone levels in order to lose weight on keto? That answer is no. You don't need to track your ketone levels at all if you wanna lose weight. If you are eating low carb foods, foods that are keto, and you know that you're keeping track in an app or you know exactly what foods you're eating, and you know you're under those 20 to 25 grams of carbs, you don't need to track. However, I do find it helpful to track and make sure that you are in ketosis, even if you spot check yourself like I do a couple times a month. But you don't have to track your ketone levels every single day or every single week in order to lose weight. I lost my 40 pounds and I only tracked maybe twice, but I did track my food to make sure that I knew exactly what I was putting into my body. Now, which is more important to keep track of, ketones or blood glucose levels? It 100% depends on you and your goals. For me, if I had to choose one or the other, I would choose blood glucose, but I don't have to choose one or the other. I use the best ketone test in order to use both of them and track both of them to make sure that my overall health is at its peak. But I know that I am more prone to prediabetes, insulin resistance, all those things. So blood sugar is a much better indicator for me than ketones will ever be. So it honestly really comes down to your goals, your health, and really what you're wanting to achieve with keto. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the best ketone test. I will have a link in the description down below for the kit that I have, and that is the starter kit. So I will see you guys in the next one, and thank you so much. Bye.